And Salt Lake City Police now investigating a possible bias crime at Utah's oldest black church. A sign was vandalized and offensive messaging was left behind. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to the Reverend who says this is the third incident they've had in less than two years. Stay off my block. You are not welcome. Hateful words scribbled into the sidewalk in front of the Trinity African Methodist Episcopal Church. They're like who and why and you know those kind of questions that you know, why would anybody want to, you know, do what they did? Reverend Daryl Jackson was on his way to church service Sunday morning to preach to the same pews he grew up in when they also discovered the sign outside the building was vandalized. It's disappointing that we would have to, that, you know, we're at this, still at this point in our lives, right, that there are still people that have a sense of uh, hatred. This is Utah's oldest black church, founded before Utah was even a state. This building has sat here since 1907 and was deemed a historic site back in the 70s. Trinity AME was uh, a center of the community because it was a place where the children could go after school, a lot of community events, a lot of celebrations. That's Robert that. Birch with the Sima Hadithi Foundation. The organization works to research and preserve black history in Utah, and Trinity AME is full of it. The purpose of that church is to bring together the community in a sense of love, and, and hopefully we can be charitable enough to each other to be able to uh, not let something like that uh, bother us too much. Salt Lake City Police are investigating and put up security cameras on Monday. They believe the vandalism and the messages took place at separate times. Oh, you got to love your neighbors. You know, they may not, they may mistreat you. They may not do, you know, what you expect them and the respect, but at the end of the day, we're to love our neighbors. In just a month, this will be behind them and they'll be celebrating a restoration that's been 10 years in the making on September 9th. The church's 135th anniversary will follow on Sunday. I hope it brings excitement. I hope it, uh, you know, brings hope. The sign should be replaced Tuesday, and anyone with information about the vandalism and the hateful words left behind should contact police at 801-799-3000. Reporting on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.